Yes, we have a, a visit a delegation of uh, local politicians of Belgium and we came to Rojava to express our solidarity with the autonomous region of Rojava, the society model, the pluralist democratic model of Rojava, because we know the project is under pressure and so that's the reason why we are here. Uh, for me personally, it's the first time that I visit this region, for many of the colleagues it's also the case and we want to do, to do two things at the one hand we want to have uh, as many contacts as possible so to meet people to see how uh, the things are going here in Rojava uh, and on the other hand we want to visit concrete projects like this water project in uh, Hasake for example because we don't want to talk only we also want to see on the field how things are going but also which problems and challenges you are facing that's really the purpose of our visit in fact we see and we see it also here that the the project of Rojava and the region the north east Syrian region is very isolated at the moment we saw even the wall that the Turkish state built it at the frontier and so if we are here it is uh, not to build walls but to build bridges between between Rojava and Europe, between Rojava and Belgium, between Rojava and our cities and to see in which way we can create collaboration for example with cities in Rojava and cities in Belgium or with Belgian organizations and organizations in Rojava and that's what we are going to do when we are back in our country so promises at least we have the engagement, the absolute will to uh, broaden the solidarity with Rojava in Europe. We all followed the news in the region in the recent years. We saw the, uh, the enormous fight against ISIS. We saw recently the earthquakes. And we know that all the events that happened here created also big uh, streams of migration. And so we want to, to witness how uh, life is in such a camp and what is the perspective for people there. Um, and maybe also, is there something NGOs in Europe can do to help uh, to better the uh, life conditions for these people. Well, we are here for uh, several days at the moment and we are very much impressed by what we are seeing. Uh, it's uh, fantastic to meet wonderful people here, also very resilient people, uh, because um, there are many difficulties and we see people that are fighting back, that wants to uh, create a future for their region, uh, also very warm. And, and nice people so that's the good thing of it so the good part of it uh, on the other hand we see the isolation and the huge challenges and problems uh, that you are facing and so uh, yeah that makes that the need for solidarity is quite big and that's what we uh, want to do uh, create more solidarity when we are back in Europe